Hi there, I'm Norris. I'm studying biochemistry at UCL. Why did I choose UCL? First off, um, let's be honest, UCL was the best ranked university I managed to get in. It's really good and also steadily going up the ranks. In truth, I really did not expect this level of teaching before I came to London, but UCL does live up to its reputation. Next, I wanted to live in a big city. As an international student, it's something you'd like to consider because it's easier to travel from and there are more things to do, museums, parks, nightlife, um, there's a lot you can do even outside of university. UCL itself is really well located. It's close to four tube stations, it has many bus stations, and it's in the city centre, close to Regent's Park. I was a bit intimidated by the size of the university because um, I was afraid of not getting to know anyone and being drowned in this huge mass of people, but I was wrong. At UCL you get to meet a lot of different people uh, in many different contexts, and so for me that was a huge plus. The facilities in UCL, um, there is a gym, there's a pool, there are tons of libraries, very nice main building. I was also pleasantly surprised to know that I would have um, lecturers in Darwin's old basement. Uh, he and quite a few other famous people, Virginia Woolf, for example, lived around UCL, so that's, that's, uh, that's nice. And finally, I'm really into jazz, so one of the first things I checked was whether UCL had a jazz society, and they do. Um, they pretty much have a society for everything, even chocolate, so I'm sure you always find something you like. For me, in the beginning, it was quite challenging because coming from a French education, I was a bit lost at first and behind in some subjects. But uh, I suppose it pushed me to work hard from the start and get it into good study habits. There is actually plenty of support offer. Um, I mostly ask my friends to start with. That's a good way to build bonds. But you can also uh, get any textbook in the library or even email your tutor. There is also this forum tool on uh, our course page, which uh, is where you can ask uh, students and tutors a question and whoever answers first gives you uh, the correct answer. There is a two week fresher period at the start of the year. There are a lot of events organized for freshers uh, and um, I don't recommend going to all of them. It gets a bit tiring. Uh, but there's something for everyone. I'm not a huge fan of clubbing, but there is also bowling, singing, really anything you like. Um, many societies also have t free taster events where you can meet people and see if you like the society before getting a membership. There is always something to do in UCL. There are lots of societies, uh, arts, sports, others, food, I don't know. In art societies, if you don't like to participate, you can always come to the shows. There are very good dance and music shows. During the day, you can hang out in a lot of places. There are very nice cafes. My favorite is the print room one um, and has a terrace. It's very cool. At night, there are a lot of events organized in students' bars, um, generally big ones for Christmas, Halloween, uh, Easter and so on, but every week you can go to student bars, uh, I think there are around four or five, and one even has a karaoke night every Saturday, which my flatmates love, <laughs> um, and um, these are student-only events, so it's nicer and cheaper than going to public places in town. Uh, the other good thing about UCL is that you can make friends which are not necessarily science students. Uh, in fact, in halls, which is where you usually make your first friends, there is little chance someone does the same degree as you. Equally, if you participate in societies, you'll be able to meet a wide range of backgrounds.